Jason, thank you so much for bringing me to your favourite bar, the Potching Still. That's it. That's it, Gary. It's um, I suppose it's 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 been in the family, let's say, for a number of years. Like we'd have uh, we'd have family events up there, christenings, communions, that type of thing. And I'd go up there with the with the wife for a quiet one. We could go for a meal. We could go for carby on a Sunday with the family as a whole. Or you could go up there with your mates on a Friday night. So it's a, there's a bit of everything in it. And for those that aren't overly familiar with the Potchy and Still, and, and we have international people listening in, it's just right on the right on the one of the main arteries into Dublin. Yeah, yeah, just on the N7, right in that cool village, which in itself is another aspect as to why it's a great place, Gary, because it's it's a brilliant pub to sit and people watch. I love people watching. <laughs> love people watching. So you have the locals who are there, obviously, but you yeah. get a lot of people travelling up and down to Dublin who stop there for food. Yeah. Um, and just before Christmas, I was in there with with with, with three of my mates having a point on the, on a, a Sunday evening. Don't tell don't tell the gaffer. But it was a Sunday evening, and um, it it was a really funny thing happened. It's a great pub to watch sport in as well. And this yeah. was Sunday night, and the Sunday game was on, and there'd, there'd been a GAA game on in Crow Park that day. But the the great thing about it was, I, I'm not a GAA fan, so I don't know who was playing, Gary. So forgive me for that bit. But the team that were playing were actually in the pub, and they yeah. were watching themselves on the screen. And there was great crack with them lads slagging each other. So that that's the type of place it is, you know. But I don't know if they were like me, but I used I only ever watch my team when they've won. I can't watch my team when they've <laughs> well, lost. Well, they were in good form, so they probably did win. They yeah. probably did. And, and and just to show you a little anecdote of how far Ireland has come, you know, back in the day, the Potchins still, um, if you were going to somewhere like Kildare, you, you might have to stop there for a bit of lunch yeah. before you. Now yeah. it's just you're out of Dublin on the main motorway and you fly by. That's it. it. That's it. But there, but just look at that backdrop. It actually looks like um you're in a museum. Actually. Yeah, it, it's it's brilliant, and, and they have artifacts like that spread out the pub still. You know, it's it's one of Louis Fitzgerald's pubs, and he keeps the team like it, it, it's authentic. It's really it's really nice. But but like I say, there's different parts to it. To Gary, there's the bar, the lounge. You have, the, you, have the, you have the the bar food there. Or if you want a sit down meal, you can go to the restaurant for a sit down meal. Mm. Uh, it's just relaxed. The staff are probably the same staff that's been there for twenty years as well. A lot, a lot of the same people. Like so, it's good. Look at the name. You, you'd love to do a Google search in it, but I, I have a sense that if it's the Potchin still, it would have been an illegal establishment sometime back in the day, right? Probably say nothing. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe well, so. So we're sitting there. I reckon it's be well fuller than that and the door whacks open and there's one person dead or alive standing there looking for a seat and you've got one right spare beside you who is it and why well I'm, I'm i'm a big football fan gary i am a big liverpool supporter shamrock rover supporter here in ireland but i suppose both from somebody i looked up to throughout life and, and what my early football memories that that sort of gave me the passion for the game has to be kenny Dalglish. Has oh, to be Kenny Dalglish, um, wow. um, and for a number of reasons, Gary. One on, on the sporting aspect, one of the very clear memories I have of Dalglish as a player. I suppose I would have been a child when he was coming towards the end of his playing career. Yes. Yeah. So, um, eighty five, I think it was 80, no, it was eighty six actually. It's eighty six when when he was player manager for Liverpool, and Liverpool won the league, and we're all watching TV on, on the little boxes at home, you know, with the, the static going through the screen and so on. <laughs> but um, I remember they went and played uh, Chelsea and Stamford Bridge and they needed to win to win, to win the game to win the league. And we won 1-0 and that Gleish scored a goal. And the, the picture is so clear in my head of that goal. Ball comes over his right shoulder, takes it on his chest, outside the right boot, puts it into the far bottom corner. And I was like 11-year-old sitting in my bedroom at home watching this and there's like, yeah, this is for me, like you know. So, um, that 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 aspect to it then. But I suppose the the even more poignant and more I suppose the bigger impact on me, Gary, was how he conducted himself uh, around the Hillsborough disaster yeah. in eighty nine. Um, yeah. because again at that age, I suppose I would have been eighty nine. I would have been fifteen, sixteen or so thereabouts. I was going to Lansdowne Road for the Ireland Games um, and I would have been standing on the South Terrace and I would have been in situations, I'm not going to say similar, but, you know, like the hills. You'd be moving, thing. you'd be yeah. moving, yeah. Feet are off the ground, or shoulder yeah. to shoulder and, and while the official capacity might be 49,000 or so on, 
a lot more on the, in, in the ground for those days. So, um, so that whole event sort of had a big impact on me as uh, as a kid. But even more so, was seeing how how that man and his family yeah. took the responsibility, represented his family, represented the football club, represented the city, mm-hmm. um, and I'd love to actually, I'd love to have a conversation with him around that guy. You know, I'd love to sit down and, and, and tease tease him out, tease it out with him. But isn't it interesting? And we, and we we talk about sport as a singular entity of what goes on on the pitch. But actually, when you lean into a sport, whether it's at a young age, at an older age, or at our age, where you start to look at it through different filters, and um, it's a wonderful instrument of learning. Um, and it can be hard, and we'll get onto it in a second. Yeah. I know you're a teacher as well in in. in of soccer but yeah you no know, it can be hard to get younger guys to learn effort in and and um you know be present and all these things we try and just instill in them as as uh, just good citizens yeah absolutely yeah sport is a wonderful way where usually inputs get outputs oh, absolutely 100 percent, gary like i suppose it, I have a fairly, a fairly high up role in soccer in in Ireland. That I'm Shamrock Rovers head coach of under the seventeens, but that's only on the football side. It's only one part of the job. There, I, I've spent four years at under fifteens level with the boys, and a huge part of the program we try and teach them is is off the field. It's how to be a good person. It's it's what's right and what's wrong. Football is one aspect of it, and. You know the percentage of people who actually make it, players who make it as a professional career out of football, two, three percent maybe. So you have a role where you impact them in life more than football, and that's yeah. that's very serious. So when you go back to the Daglish thing, looking yeah. at how he handled himself sort of helps me help me shape how I wanted to be as a leader um, yeah. around younger people. You know, so I love giving that back, and I love giving that example to younger boys, and and you know, yeah. okay. They don't know what I'm talking about. Already. Go on to YouTube, go and look it up, like go and see, go and see what this man doing and so on, you know. No, but application is the key thing, particularly at that difficult age for young teenagers. There's a lot yeah. going on outside the pitch, there's a lot of influences, good and bad, just to apply themselves. I, I, I was interested yesterday, I saw that Messi picked up an award. Yeah around the World Cup and what they were commentating about was the fact that even with all his accolades and all his money and all the world genuflecting at his, his, his altar effectively he's usually the first lad out and the last lad collecting the balls at the end and, and isn't that a brilliant example for the younger boys like you know because you know one of one of the, the most influential quotes we give the boys or anybody can ever hear in life and, and it applies in business as well as, as sport and, uh, and personal life as well is like Hard work will, talent will not be hard work without hard work. You know, I got that one wrong, didn't I? Let me go that one again. Yeah. Uh, talent alone will not outwork hard work. So Absolutely. you need a basis. You need to put the effort in. Talent isn't enough. Like, um, there's, there's, there's an example of a young lad that I had with me three years ago now. He's with Inter Milan now. He's mm-hmm. still 17, 18 years old. Um, and he's going to be a future star. He, he's he's going to make a career in the game for himself. Kevin yeah. Zeffi's the boy's name. Um, yeah. And uh, fabulous kid now, fabulous player. But yeah. when he came to us three years ago, he sort of he was head and shoulders above a lot of boys his age at fifteen. Head yeah. and shoulders, very. Yeah. And he thought he didn't have to walk. He thought the talent was enough, you know. So, yeah. um, six months with me, <laughs> he mm-hmm. and my crew, he moved on to the seventeens in our in our club with with the I suppose the bigger picture of what what work rate was needed. What yeah. talent was, what talent had to back up with, you know. Yeah. So he went on. He's been into Milan now, and yeah, watch out for the name. He's going to be a star because it brings in, and it's hard at that age. And there's something I'm sure that we can all bring in our lives is it, 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 a young player. If I remember my, my own playing days, a really talented young player could carry a team up to about yeah. fourteen. Yeah, the team carries the players. Yeah, and unless they adopt right into teamwork and a team. That's it. Then 
you're not actually collectively good at, for the team. You're a very talented lad. Is that what you find? Is that they find that difficult still to... Yeah, oh, so, and, and, and 14, 15, 16 is the age group where that, that penny has to drop, you know. Uh, there's another example of a boy who's in my squad at the moment. I won't mention his name, but a, a very similar type of player to, to, to Kevin plays in the same type of position. And yeah. his widow is now a year and year and two months. And I think in the last, let's say, two to three months, I think the penny has dropped with him, you know. Um, he's, a, he's a great kid. I get great crack out of him, yeah. him and, and joking and, and vice versa. But he's really maturing now. And, and this is the age group where they do mature. So, yeah. a, again, you're, I suppose, have a big influence in these boys' lives. Sure. And you have to understand that it's not just... Uh, on the pitch, it's off the pitch as well. So, if if he can go away now with with the with the knowledge of the life skill that he's got from us, Gary, job yeah. done, hands up, and the life, job you know, done. job yeah. done. You yeah. say out of every hundred boys that goes through your fingers, only two to three of them will make a career out of it. So that's it, absolutely. Other, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? The other ninety-seven are life skills, and can they apply yeah. themselves then to an apprenticeship or apply themselves to a whatever they want to do. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And 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 the message we're in, like, so we do a lot of classroom work with the boys, like, um, mm. and and where these are the type of messages we try to give them. And and one of the other important points is to be successful as an individual, you will need the team to be successful. You can't do it by yourself. So if you're part of a 20-man squad and you yeah. want to be successful, well, then all 20 have to be successful along that path, you know? So you have to buy in. If you yeah. don't buy in, you'll get left behind and you won't be successful. So it's, and, and again, whether that's an apprenticeship, whether you're you're a, a crew of one in 10 on an electrical apprenticeship site and you go off by yourself, you're the one that's going to be left behind. It's the other <laughs> nine who become successful, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it is a life skill and that's what we try yeah. to teach them in it, you know? We give and them lots of real examples. And Jason, that's a new thing because because having played a bit of sport as a kid as well, we used to have all coaches that just it didn't matter how you played, didn't matter how you perform, just win. Yeah, <laughs> win. yeah. but that's yeah. changed now fundamentally. Where you're actually, um, yeah, I'd look, I, thankfully the 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 FAO in Ireland put a lot of investment into the the what was the National League is now the League of Ireland Academy this year. It's okay. rebranded, and uh, a lot of the emphasis is on the development of the the, the person and. Yeah, I say person because it's not just boys now. No. Girls under 17s and girls under 19s as well and, and a full women's league. So it's exciting the year. of the parents. An exciting yeah. year for the Irish no, this the, year. Yeah, huh? Absolutely. Like, and, and like the, the, the women's team, so my 15s group last year helped the Ireland women's national team prepare for some of their, their qualifying games. So in, in, their, in their, their, their playoff that they won 1-0, that week prior to that, we were training with them. So we played in-house games against them to help them in preparation for that. So really, really looking forward to see how the, how, the, how the girls get on there, you know. And I'm sure a few of the black guys and the sore ribs of the boys, they wouldn't be saying that the women's sport is any less or any more than... <laughs> no, no. The, the biggest problem we had with the boys at that age is trying to keep them off the women's Instagram pages and so on. You know what no, I mean, Gary? So... It's a daytime show. We can't go down <laughs> to that. So, um, a fact, right? Teach me something. We're sitting there. Kenny's after going off. You're after giving him more life lessons than he gave you. He's gone off down to. Uh, he's gone off to Sagar to find his way. Um, give us a couple of facts that uh, I don't know of. I, I can give you. I can give you a couple of really useless facts, Gary. That I love them. I love that them. Will, will, you will never be able to use in in in, in your life. They mean nothing to you. But here they are anyway, right? right? So, my first name is Jason, as we've established here. Yeah. Five, let five letters in the name. J-A-S-O-N. I was born in November. Walk yeah. back five months from there and take the first letter of each month. Yeah. July, August, September, October, November. There you Jason. go. I don't, know whether, I don't know whether somebody's playing a game on me, Gary, or not, but there you go. J Jason, that's the type of thing a lad does when he's either so bored or so bright. Or a bit in the middle. So how do you work? How did you work that out? Did you just wake up one morning and say, "I'll work this one out"? I'm going to go with the board in the back of the classroom bit. That's just that's probably the easiest answer in there. Um, and 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 to back it up, I'll give you even a second one, Gary. What? Have, you, have you got a calculator there? Have you? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. You, you had a calculator. Yeah, I have a calculator. Yeah, here, here. Okay. Have, okay. An old, so, an old, an old one. Yeah. 
Ah, it doesn't matter once yeah. it adds up. Go, it's on, all go, good. go on. Type in the digits. Yeah. Five, zero, seven, three, one, four, five. So that, yeah. that's the number. Five million, seventy-three thousand, one hundred and forty-five. Yeah. No. Turn her upside down. It now has the letters S H I E L D S, which is Shields. So there you go. I did say to you, you won't be able to use these facts. They're no. absolutely useless. But probably signs of a misspent childhood in the back of the classroom. No. Gary. But with all due respect, right? And we didn't get too much into the work and stuff. But of a man of numbers as a financial <laughs> controller, I mean, the gods. The gods were saying, this man, this man, this man. So all that with just one calculator. Yeah, it's, yeah, there you go. There you go. As I say, there was um, sitting in the back of the classroom, probably looking at the teacher, trying to teach the maths class and going, oh, this is boring. And then yeah. playing around and there you go. That's what we found. Well, my, my sense is, and I, I know that you've worked out the science of sport, you've worked out sort of teenageness and all the rest, but I'm not sure that bringing that one up in the middle of a sort of a, a motivational speech is really no. going to engage the kids. No, They're going to no, go, no, no, no I'll, leave, I'll, I'll leave that one behind. Yeah. He's gone yeah. completely to the yeah. dark side. They might just think I'm off, off my head there, Gary. Like, oh. That's, it's that simple. But you know, my mother used to say, Gary, always try and get remembered. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. If, if you can. And if it could be for the right reasons, it's even better. Right? <laughs> yeah. But remember, so, yeah, hopefully. So I remember my very first mentor, one of my mentors in work, uh, Barry Rhodes, and he used to do this trick with a with a um, an old twenty piece, or because it was a certain size, okay. and whatever way he was able to twist his finger, it used to disappear. Okay, right. That's about the only thing I can remember about Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember that. That's a joke. But there you go. Always get remembered. So I will definitely every time I think of Jason. And every time I think of you, I'm going to think of the calculator that I thought, I, that I thought I'd lost and that I'm now going to go and see. Can I find... No, I, I'll tell you exactly what you're going to do, Gary. You're going to go and try and find somebody else who has the same surname and bring the trick to them, aren't you? I'm, I'm definitely... I'm definitely <laughs> and, now, and now that I've Google, you don't even have to use your brain. You can use the tools. So, Jason, yeah. that was absolutely a whirlwind, but really interesting. Thank you so much for giving me uh, uh, some insights into what's going on in your world. Obviously, the Not work... Well. Did, well. obviously, obviously, we didn't get too much to talk about your work, but, I mean, it it, it weaves a lot of what we're talking about there. It's the application. Yeah, I suppose the, the role I have in work, Gary, is, is, is very similar to the role. It's a leader role. It's, it's, it's answering questions, giving direction, trying to help, trying to solve problems before their problems, trying to see... How we how we can improve things all the time. So uh, the finance bit, I, I try to leave that to somebody else now. I try and pass that on a little bit. All oh, right, you just oh, oh, oh. right, but you know, it keeps, it's, it's like a boomerang though. It just keeps coming back at you, Gary. You know, still early in the day though. You could be found out, and it's coming up to that time when everybody cares about finance department. Probably the only time of the month they care yeah. about finance department. Yeah. So you got to be on your guard for this week. So, Jason, yeah. thank you so much. It was fast, furious, but really good. Thank That's you. all. Appreciate it, Gary. Take care.